Ranking Republican on the Senate subcommittee, Jesse Helms of North Carolina, suggested that the BCCI case has the plot of a bestseller. Just imagine, if you will, that we sat down to write a book, a novel, about a group of drug traffickers and arms smugglers and terrorists and money launderers, about 3,000 of them. And suppose they had names like Noriega and Abu Nadal and Saddam Hussein. And suppose further that they wanted to start a full-service bank to advance their various enterprises. And suppose that they are smart enough to realize that a single bank in a single country, even a small country with convenient banking laws, would be too exposed and isolated to escape inquiry by a smart group of bank examiners. Now, if you put all those factors for our little scenario together, you'd come up with the founding concept of BCCI, or the Bank of Credit and Commerce International. Now, after a few false moves are repulsed, these crooks and criminals realize that they need to do more than just penetrate the U.S. banking system. They need to penetrate the U.S. political system. So now the plot thickens. Helm said both Republicans and Democrats shared responsibility for BCCI's continued abuses. Yesterday's first witness, former